Toxoplasmosis. What's going on, Sequoia Nation? Dr. Schilling bringing you wellness wisdom today. And we're talking about toxoplasmosis. If you're not familiar with toxoplasmosis, it's typically women think about not changing cat litter boxes when they're pregnant because you might get toxoplasmosis. Um, fever, headaches, body aches, chills, fatigue, I think are common symptoms related to it. Um, oftentimes people get nightmares and or vivid dreams because of it. Uh, so if you ever get nightmares or vivid dreams, typically it's because you have some type of stress related to toxo being kicked up. Word of the wise. Um, so let's talk about it. There's a bunch of different stresses, as you know, we're bringing you the neuroemotional conflicts related to it, at least what the research is showing us. And this is going to help you have a better perspective as to not be afraid of the cat litter box because it's not just cats and cat poop and things like that that transmit these things. I mean, you already have it in your body. It's nothing new. Uh, medical paradigm says that you catch it from something and things like that. But my job is to help you have a different perspective, at least I charge myself with that job, relating to what the stresses are. So uh, for a woman who is preconception or um, thinking about it, it might be that she's rejecting her sexuality. So she can have toxoplasmosis before getting pregnant, not just ca ca changing a lit cat litter box when she does. Um, so she rejects her sexuality or, or she rejects... Um, or, or fears of, feels a fear of not being able to produce, like she might have um, anxiety or fear about not being able to have a baby, that can trigger the stressors. Then if they did a culture or something like that, might find toxoplasmosis in the stream, in the bloodstream, but it's already there. Um, if you are dealing with that kind of thing, you could feel defective, like say, oh, I don't think I can have a baby, I'm feeling defective, or um, I'm not accepting my sexuality, I'm seeing myself as defective, things like that. Those are that's also a relevant theme. Um, when there are people in your life you're estranged from. So you might feel like um, I'm estranged from my partner, I'm estranged from my parent or my sibling or a friend or something like that. That's one of the triggers that can cause a toxo to yeah, kick up. Sorry, yeah. Interrupt. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're on live. It's cool. Thanks, Come Mike. Thank you very much. There we go, Mike. <laughs> Good to see you. Mike said hi, guys. Um, <laughs> uh, where were they? Talking about estrangement from people. So that can be related to someone making you or someone driving you crazy. The idea of what they've done that cause you to feel estranged can make you crazy. These are things that are relevant. Um, uh, you might be estranged from them because you're not getting what you want and you're in their relationship with them. As a result, you know, th these are all kinds of things that can kick up. Someone might have uh, symptoms of toxoplasmosis because they fear being a bad mother. Okay, you, Again, this is the preconception kind of thing. You, you feel like they're, I fear being a bad mother or when they're pregnant with the baby, they're like, oh, what if I screw it up? What if I'm a bad mother? What, I, this fear that overcomes them, right? So that can be you know, oversensitivity to those fears, and as a result, they can, again, trigger up those symptoms. Um, if, you get, if you feel like people are picking at you, criticizing you, things like that, that can be like um, sharp critical comments made during pregnancy that can trigger this type of stuff. Um, the one I found most interestingly, we'll round it out here, is um, there was, think of it as a generational trauma, generational stress, where there's a history of either a lost baby or an aborted baby somewhere, and then that lives in the DNA and then passes down through generations, if you will, and then certain things get triggered. So it's not like an inherited stress, like, oh, I got, I got cancer from my mom. It's more like we all have these switchboards of genes that are either expressing or not expressing, like we talked about um, the other day. And so if you get a trigger, that can make a gene express or make a, a microbiome player become irritated, and then you have symptoms. So instead of thinking the symptoms are your key, like they're the the thing to focus on, say, back up and say, where's my stress? So for you or anybody you know who's f afraid of toxoplasmosis, uh, has had it, or whatever it might be, uh, share this with them because they will benefit from understanding a deeper level. Okay? So that's our wellness wisdom for today, and uh, we'll bring you the next segment tomorrow. We're going to make it the bug week, so stay tuned for the next bug tomorrow. All right, guys? Have a good night.